A New Jersey school district is canceling Halloween festivities during school hours. This morning, parents speaking out as school districts across the country opt to cancel Halloween celebrations. I feel like it's just crossing the line and it's just where does it end? So next people are going to be offended by pumpkins. The woke mob has come for Halloween. I never thought I'd be doing this video, but here it is. The Orange Maplewood School District in New Jersey has a problem with Halloween. So they have essentially canceled all Halloween celebrations in schools because of inclusion and diversity. I'm not joking. Now I know it's crazy. They're canceling Halloween. But at this moment in time, I'm gonna tell you about the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access. Now, I use a VPN every time I access the internet for protection, and the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access VPN, is one of the best. Now, what do I love about this VPN? Well, with one account, you can protect unlimited devices. And you know what else you get? You get to hide your IP address. You get a server in every state and in multiple countries around the world. You can connect to streaming services around the world and watch content that's not available where you are. And use the link in the description and in the pinned comment and you'll get 83% off and four months free. Now, for that deal, you go to piavpn.com forward slash Nate the Lawyer. Let me say that again. PIAVPN.com forward slash Nate the Lawyer. And for $2.03 per month, you get this fantastic deal. Now, let's just keep it 100. For $2.03 per month, is that worth keeping the government out of your internet browsing history? I would say yeah. Now, click on that link in the description and check it out for yourself. Now, let's get back to the video. See, the school district believes that wearing costumes may cause cultural and religious reservations. It may even cause parents some financial constraints for buying a costume and may foster exclusion of some children who may not be able to either afford the costumes or whose religions may not allow them to wear them. For many, Halloween is a time for costumes, jack-o'-lanterns, and candy. But for others, the holiday may clash with family-held beliefs or cause financial stress. In the past, I have had children who have shared with me how sad they were because they are not allowed to participate in Halloween. And so I didn't have any of that this year either. So that was great. The principal of this elementary school in New Jersey says in one recent year, up to 90 kids were unable to participate in Halloween. So the school did away with it. So the school believes that by canceling Halloween, this would foster diversity, equality, and inclusion. By avoiding an environment, they may compromise their values through costume wearing. Essentially, the school district went ultra woke. Here's what they had to say. According to a letter from the superintendent, the school district examined whether Halloween celebrations created unintentional financial hardships for families who struggled to afford costumes or violated the dignity of some students culturally or religiously. Ultimately, they decided they won't have Halloween celebrations or costumes during school hours, noting that schools can partner with PTAs to do themed events outside of school hours. Okay, so the decision to cancel Halloween was met with some very, very strong reactions from the community and politicians. See, parents and students expressed disappointment and frustration, saying that Halloween is a fun, harmless tradition that brings joy and creativity to children. And you know it's bad because New Jersey has an extremely woke governor. And even the governor said this is insane. Here's the governor's tweet. Governor Phil Murphy, seriously? We can't let kids celebrate Halloween? Give me a break. Now, some have questioned the logic and consistency of the district's policy, pointing that other holidays, such as Christmas, Valentine's Day, could also be seen as exclusive and inequitable. On the other hand, some parents and students have supported the district's decision, saying it is respectful and sensitive to the diverse needs and backgrounds of all the students. All sorts of very, very in affordable options are available to them. And as far as religious or religious pushback, if you don't want your child to wear a costume, don't send them to school with a costume. Governor Phil Murphy taking to X, formerly Twitter, saying, quote, seriously, we can't let kids celebrate Halloween? Give me a break. I would say we're in the year 2023 and um, to 
look at the equity issues. A parent of two kids in the district, Carrie Gordon supports what the school district is doing, saying she's seen kids who don't celebrate Halloween feel left out. There's plenty of opportunity within our within our towns to celebrate Halloween. No, this case is not an isolated one. As some similar actions have been taken by various regions in the past, citing inclusivity and equity as the reasons. Here's one from Pennsylvania last year where they stopped celebrating Halloween. A growing number of school districts have decided to cancel Halloween this year. And there's more than one reason as to why. ABC's Lionel Moyes on the road, the back and forth debate with parents. This morning, parents speaking out as school districts across the country opt to cancel Halloween celebrations. I feel like it's just crossing the line and it's just where does it end? So next people are going to be offended by pumpkins. Lower Marion School District in Pennsylvania ending the Halloween tradition after more than 50 years. Now, because this is an education channel, I do want to go over quickly what Halloween is. Halloween is the eve of the Catholic holiday named All Saints Day. Some people may not know that. Now, the relationship between Halloween and All Saints Day is mainly chronological and historical. Halloween being the eve of All Saints Day and the name Halloween actually derives from All Hallows Eve or the night before All Saints Day. Now the canceling of Halloween leads to a broader discussion of inclusivity, equity, and potentially marginalizing certain groups. But the other side says, where does it stop? See, each American holiday and celebration has the potential to hurt some group's feelings by not including them. Christmas, for instance, for those who are not Christians. Black History Month or Juneteenth, for those who are not black. The 4th of July, if you're not an American citizen. And what about Mother's Day, for women who are not mothers? See, the list can go on and on and on. This way of thinking seems to be doing more harm than good. See, we as a culture celebrated our differences and had an appreciation for them. Now we vilify those same differences in the name of potentially offending others. Now, I throw the question to you. Do you think Halloween is a harmless, fun holiday? Or is it problematic, offensive, and exclusive? Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let me know if we should start just canceling all holidays because let's just be honest. Somebody is going to be offended by that holiday. Somebody is going to be left out. And if everyone can't enjoy it, then no one should enjoy it. Or at least that's what the left is telling us. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all that great YouTube stuff. Tell me where I'm wrong in the comment section, people, because I want to know. My name is Nathan Loy. I'm out of here. Peace.